this is a very typical um, thing in, in, on the Polish wall. It says, uh, fuck, um, the, the L, whatever, S. This is, a, this is a name of a football club. This football club, uh, they say, fuck this football club, whatever the club is. Um, now, the, 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 the David Star is imprinted into the name of the club to degrade it more. Here you see Yudha Raus uh, written on a monument near, near Krakow. And there are some people who are trying to remove the, the markings, but, um, <coughs> but this, is a, this is something very common on Polish walls. You have a lot of uh, anti-Semitic inscriptions here and there. And um, while I'm telling you all the, all the story about who I am and how ignorant I am towards the Jews, that I have no, absolutely no idea about Jewish culture, Jewish language, Jewish in, input into Polish history, uh, importance of that nation, in, you know, how close that culture is to our culture. I have no idea about that, but still, I go around the cities and I see that. Somehow, you know, somehow I, uh, I hear jokes about Jews. We, we used to, maybe not so much anymore, but we used to tell jokes about Jews, okay? <clears throat> I'm telling you that to give you a picture of how totally ignorant I was. Because on one side, I had no idea about Jews living in Poland whatsoever. And on the other hand, I was quite open to listen to jokes, stories, um, and, and phobias about Jews. Like, <coughs> the Jews are there to govern the world. Okay? There, is a, there is a hidden Jewish uh, government or agenda going on because they want to rule the world. Or and the, the, the financial uh, you know, reality of this planet is governed by the Jews. Or the Jews are totally against the Catholic Church and they want to destroy it. You know? and, and, and stuff like that. Oh, or there's a lot of Jews that are hiding in the Polish government and they hate the Poles for some reason. Um, you know, and, and stuff like that. Now comes the year 2000. Jan Tomasz Gross, who's a Polish historian, Polish Jewish historian, who emigrated, I suppose just when you emigrated, in 1960. Mm -hmm. Did you did you uh, did you meet him? Do you know him? Right. Right now, uh, Jan Tomasz Gross is a is a professor in Princeton University, and he emigrated in 1968 because of the racist riots in Poland, and. Um, in the year 2000, he published a book that went straight in the middle of Polish argument. Um, it's called The Neighbors. Now, the book tells a simple story about how the Polish citizens of the village yet have killed all the neighbors of Jewish descent in 1941, in June, July, sorry, 10th of July, 1941. Now, this book was like a grenade in Polish uh, public opinion. Okay? We're so used to thinking that Poland and Poles were fighting for the just cause, that we were fighting against evil, that we are the messianic country that always suffers for the good cause. Um, somebody, somebody says, okay, well, hold on a second. You actually killed the Jews as well. And we're like, um, now I was like, hold on, it's, it, it, it cannot be true. First of all, who are the Jews? You know, where were they? Um, you know, and something from that book, I read that book, and it not only tells me that there was a lot of Jews in Poland before the war, but that we had something to do with that. And the past 10 years of Polish history, the, the decade of until now, I think it's a tremendous step towards understanding who Jews were, how many of them there were, how big is the influence of the Jewish tradition and heritage into the Polish culture, how important Jews were in the Polish history, how long this history of coexistence was, how important the Holocaust in the history of the world was, how influential
influential this moment in time, the 1940s, is still up to this day, um, how tremendous um, influence and impact on every individual psychic, of my psychic, the Holocaust still has, how important it is to understand um, what Holocaust was, what is the, the loss of a whole part of society, how important that, that loss is. Um, and these were the questions raised first by Jan Thomas Gross in his book. And those questions still hold. They are being digested by the Polish public opinion a lot. And I have to tell you, those 10 years, they have remodeled a lot of minds uh, in Poland. <clears throat> so anyway, in 2003, I decided to go to Yedwagna for myself and see for myself what this city is all about. Um, and what I discovered is that it's the city where my identity as a Polish person does not longer stand. I cannot understand who I am in Yedwagna any longer. It's not like I can go to Yedwagna, take out the Polish flag, wave it over my head, which I would do normally on the street of any, uh, or any city. Suddenly in Yedwagna it just means something totally different. Okay? And uh, so what I understood is that in order to retell the Polish story and understand the Polish identity again, we have to implement the Jewish narrative into that, which had not been done before, because of, mainly because of, 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 the, of the communist and uh, Catholic propaganda. <clears throat> so, I, um, this is me. Um, I, took a, I took a spray paint and a, and a, and a, and a, and a brush and started writing on walls in different places. I started writing on walls, I miss you, Jew, um, caption. This is a finished one. This, this one is in the city of Otvotsk. And as I see, uh, I use a technique that would be used by the anti-Semites. Um, so it's a very simple brush. It's not, there's no uh, design to it. It's just a simple handwriting on the wall. But it just means totally opposite. It's, it's not like five Jews or either else, or I hate Jews, but it, it says, I miss you Jews. This is in Puave, which, which uh, before the war was a huge Jewish population. I had an had a, I had a, a email from a friend. She's a, she's a very intelligent, 40 years old person. And she writes to me, why did you choose Puave to actually write that thing on the wall? And I go, well, <laughs> I say, well, you, you see, Puave was a city that had a 15,000 Jewish population in a 45,000 people. You know, there was one third of the city. And she goes like, it's impossible. She didn't know that. As I didn't know that, okay? As we all didn't know that. This is the one in Warsaw. Um, I, started, I started painting my own house as well. <laughs> Just to practice. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is my, uh, my room. Uh, where I painted everything I could, actually. This is the longest um, um, inscription that we did. This is like, I think it's a 40 meter, meter long uh, inscription on the wall. Um, this is in Warsaw Ghetto. This is in, in Grodzisk, which is a city outside of Warsaw which was the biggest uh, uh, Jewish community outside of Warsaw, very close, and there was a huge Jewish cemetery um, where I then took a picture of, which is now turned into a, um, a garbage factory, basically. 